I see you moving and swaying Locked in my eyes, I'm so fixed on Every turn that you're taking I'm taking it by The way you sit, you swing I'm caught up in everything advance for my appearance right now. I am having a very productive day, hopefully. Um, so as you saw, I got up this morning, I went on a walk, um, and I planned out what I'm going to do for today. So obviously I have two days for a weekend, um, and it's very easy to just let those days pass by really quickly and not get anything done. Um, but what I try to do, or at least my best intentions going into most weekends is to take one day for essentially catching up on all the stuff that I've been putting off all week, all of the like adulting, um, important like cleaning and you know, that sort of stuff. Um, and then I like to take a day where I just do kind of what I want and have like a chill, more like self-care kind of day for the things that like I want to do. Um, they're important to me, but they're not necessarily like you know, important objectively. So this vlog today is my cleaning vlog. Um, <laughs> so essentially what I'm doing this Saturday is, again, just cleaning up different places that have been neglected all week since, you know, I get up in the morning, I go to work, I come home, I'm exhausted, I eat dinner, and I sit in front of the TV for a couple hours, and then I go to bed. So I have a lot of stuff to catch up on, a lot of stuff that has just been piling up on my to-do list. Um, so I thought first, before I get into any like actual cleaning type of stuff, I thought I'd just sit through, sit through, I thought I'd just sit here um, and tell you a little bit about kind of how I manage my time um, and how I stay productive to like clean for an entire day. As you saw, the first thing I do literally when I sat down this morning, I got breakfast, I got coffee, I sat down in front of the computer and I made a list. To me, this is like the most helpful thing um, to just get out on paper, like all the stuff in your brain that you know is important that you have to do. I also think it's kind of important on these days to be realistic with yourself because like, you know, I wrote down a whole super long list of like a million things that I could do today. Um, and then I kind of had to take a look at it and be like, okay, realistically, <laughs> can I do all 20 of these things in a day? And the answer is no, probably not. Um, especially because I kind of hit a point mid to late afternoon where I just lose all energy. Um, and I also want to keep in mind that like, this is a weekend and this should be two days off. So I do still want to like enjoy my time and not waste my days away cleaning. So I do just try to be realistic. Like the first thing I do is put a load of laundry in the washer. Um, as you saw, I stripped my bed. That was the first thing I did. Um, and then went on a walk, which was strategic <laughs> because it gets me like out of bed, out of, you know, the house to kind of just prepare me, energize me to get things done throughout the day. So I went through this list. I picked out, you know, a handful of things that I figured realistically I could get done today. Um, and then I kind of prioritized based on what were the most important things that I really, really need to do today that I've been putting off for a long time. Um, and then I also kind of look at those things and think, okay, based on my motivation, like productivity level, what should I get done first? So normally whatever I'm dreading the most is the thing that I think I should probably get done first. Otherwise I'll push it to the end and it will again not get done. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that one of my kittens came with ringworm. Um, so that meant she had to be stuck in a bathroom for a good amount of time. Um, or not specifically a bathroom, but a room that was easy to clean. So I was not able to be in my own bathroom for about five months. I had migrated to my guest bathroom, all of my stuff, and I've been living out of there for now of almost seven extra weeks beyond what I should have been in there. Um, I should have moved everything over seven weeks ago, but I didn't. So my master bathroom is still not being used. 
Um, it's been cleaned for the most part. I just kind of have to migrate everything back, which for some reason I've been dreading. So that's like number one on my list. I've washed my sheets. I did like the easiest, simplest things I could think of to do today, which was get out and take a walk um, and put my sheets in the laundry because I like starting off the day with a couple of really easy tasks. When you're looking at a task list for the day, it can get really overwhelming. Um, so for me, the best way to kind of jumpstart that motivation is to kick it off with a couple of really easy tasks that you can cross off your to-do list and say like, oh yeah, I'm doing great. Now I can tackle a bigger project. So yeah, I kind of just thought it'd be fun to let you guys follow me around while I cleaned today. Um, I find these videos kind of enjoyable. They kind of motivate me to get things done. I know before this weekend, I watched quite a few cleaning videos over the week just to like get myself excited, not excited, but like, you know, not dreading it, I guess. There is something satisfying about cleaning things up. You just have to kind of remind yourself about that part of it because you tend to only remember how much you dread it and how much you dislike it. Um, you don't remember how great it feels when it's done. I just posted a blog post on my Apple Watch. It's kind of like a review slash what I use it for, kind of like my thoughts on whether or not it was worth it for me. Um, and then I also threw at the end just some of like my workout favorites. So like the shoes that I wear, the leggings, the shirts, like that type of stuff. Um, just in case you're curious, that's all in a post on my blog. Glad we're all on the same page. I feel like I just rambled a mile a minute, um, but I'm also kind of procrastinating. <laughs> all right, wish me luck. chat. I have been a cleaning fiend today. It's 4.30 and I stopped for lunch at like 2. <laughs> I've essentially been cleaning since then. So I got my bathroom all moved over. As you saw, I washed my sheets, vacuumed my room and the whole upstairs, um, cleaned the bathroom that I moved all of my stuff out of. I now cleaned the kitchen and the dining room. All the boxes are broken down counter is completely clean and beautiful. Right now, I'm going to quickly run to Target because as I was like moving all my stuff um, from one bathroom to the next, I was thinking of like a handful of different things that would be really nice to have 
whoa, really dark. Anyway, um, I was thinking of a handful of things that would be really nice to have in terms of like organization and stuff. So I'm gonna go to Target and see if they have anything that makes sense. At least gonna like get out of the house for a minute today. to quickly hop on one more time to say thank you so much for watching. I will be vlogging tomorrow, however, that's going to be a separate video. So I hope you enjoyed this like just crazy productive cleaning day. Um, I hope it motivated you to do some cleaning and organizing and such by yourself. So yeah, I feel really good. I feel like I got a ton accomplished today, so it's always kind of a good feeling. Um, and I like to get this done on Saturday because then I can go into Sunday and really just be okay with, you know, relaxing and having a chill, like, personal, just self-care day, which is 100% what I intend to do. You will see that video very soon. Um, but in the meantime, if there's anything that you'd like to see from me uh, going forward, please let me know. If you want to see more cleaning and organizing, I'd, I'm happy to oblige. Uh, <laughs> I do this a lot, so this is something you're interested in, definitely let me know. I will see you very soon with another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!